guard your number one priority. If he's not, then he should. Because God is the source of your life, the ground of your being. Without God, you have nothing. You don't have a life, you don't have a soul, you don't have a home, you don't have a family. All things, all good things come from God. Every single gift that you could possibly get in your life, it all comes from God. Because he's a God of the living. He's a God who is loving, kind, merciful, and forgiving, and all he wants is what's best for you. If there's anything else that he would want from you, it's some it's just your love. Not he he's not a God who asks for too much. He just asks you for your love. To acknowledge that without him, you have no existence, that he is the reason why you exist in the universe. We all live for God because God created us. And he wants us to live the lives that we want to live. That's why Jesus says we shouldn't worry when it comes to food and drink and clothing, because he knows what we have need of. Remember the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, how he said, Seek first the kingdom of heaven, and all these things will be added unto you. You will have everything you want in life, in due time. But first things first, you must put God first in your life. Seek first the kingdom of heaven. Even if all that means is you just say a simple prayer in the morning when you get up. A simple prayer where you thank God for the life that you have, for the gifts that you have, and where you are in life, and where you know, based upon your confidence in God, where you're going in life. A simple prayer of thanksgiving, and maybe asking for some assistance to help you to make sure that you fall into no sin. You know, even if it's something that's just a simple prayer and a simple reading of the Bible, seek first the kingdom of God. Make sure that God is number one in your life. Everything else will come later. I promise you. I promise to. God first and everything will come to you, second, third, fourth, and fifth, and so on and so forth. 